Okay, so once we're into Aquarius, we can then select their location. So in this case, Dunedin open. And we're going to be working on, obviously you've got your slot sites listed here. In this case, my area here in Lake Hiroko. So normally you're back with log pages from the field. So we want to enter our site visits under the field visit tool here. So once this starts up, you'll see the last time it was visited in July. So we've just been here this quarter. So we want to add a new field visit. And again, we'll enter the date. In this case, it was on the 15th at 12, 12.50. So click OK. Let's put it into here. The party in this case was Andrew and Ben. Okay, and under remarks, I'll note that the lake was calm. The external staff gauge was 2.370. And that was plus or minus 10 millimeters. The logger was 12 minutes slow and adjusted. And the backup logger was downloaded. Okay. So after this we want to do a new measurement activity. In this case we won't have an ID because it's not a, uh, a gauging. But the activity name in this case is uh, EPB. Conditions, well, I'm not going to worry about that but you could put in there that's sort of optional. And the approval level in this case is working because I'm still working on it. And we want to add an observation here. So it's going to be a manual entry. It's carried our time through for us. It's not discharged in this case, we're going to have a stage reading, no qualifier, the value from our internal, 2.369. So we've entered our value units and meters, no correlation here, the value carries through and we want to set our grade. In this case we're using 200, no quant quality. And save and exit. Or we can go back and look at the different uh, both fields there by clicking on them. Save and exit, and that's entered our field visit. Okay. And hit refresh. At the moment our last field visit is seventh the seventh. When we hit refresh, it'll add our new one, fifteenth tenth now. So we've selected our site and our locations. We want to load that. This brings up the data sets for the site. In this case now we want to select the stage master along with that's number one on the side here and then control key stage field visits which is number two and if we look at our data correction plot okay to maybe get a better plot we can turn off the surrogate get rid of this so we've got a full plot here and using this zoom in horizontally just pick on the end of the record that we want we can see here this is updated and approved this last part isn't so we're now getting closer we can actually go and mark the region we want to work with so we just go either side of our site visits you can see our site visits there and here. This gives us a closer period uh, options here to set the date and time under their correction control. And looking at our register which we've started to fill in, we can see the last inspection. So we're going five minutes on the 7th the 7th at 13.55. So 07 at 13.55. To our log sheet, which is on the 15th at 12:50, and that brings our marked areas right under our inspections. And at this point, um, if we're happy with our record, no editing needed, 
we can set our approval levels so our actions here in this case approval levels and we're going to set this to in review or working if you want to continue working in this case it's ready to go so in review apply that so this is uh, in review ready to update add that comment this will change the line along here which then Kathy will see to for update purposes and while we're there we can also set the grade which will in future be probably 600 good quality but in the meantime we're leaving it as 200 so that will stay as it is in brown and we can also print it jpeg print it and print you might want to go color uh, choose your printer and then we can add our log pages of that if we need to when we're finished save and exit so our last thing to do now is continue to fill in the register so we can get our initial um, stage value end value no problem we didn't edit it in this case and we're not putting on our update anymore this is just going to be Aquarius, so that's filed by me. It's going to be checked by Kathy, and the date that I've put it there, which is today, 2014, 10, 22. And we could even write out the side here. I have, have changed to Aquarius. So let's go back and get our start and end values. So if we go to the, we've got these marked here, so if we look at our data points here, let's bring this out a bit, here we have our values and we need to scroll of course down to the end, and you'll actually pick up the highlighted in blue, at 30.55 our value is 1.880, so 1.880, and if we go through to our end there we are 1250 and it's 2.367 so we have 2367 and last thing we need is max mins so we don't need that so we can exit out of here and for our max mins we need to select our stage values if we go to the report tool and here we can choose the new maximum report and we want to do our time range so so we were July 7th at 13 October 15th at 12.50 and if we just go preview we'll get our max min, so in this case our min is 1289 out of there we don't need to keep that uh, if you want to keep it you can file it to report okay last thing if we go to Kathy's scratch drive Walt Walt Kathy and the queries registers in this case for Dunedin And we're going to fill in so Kathy knows what sites <coughs> we're updating in this case. Why we're here in Lake Hiroko. So, yep. 
Ratings no, gauging's no. Take the end of data, so again we can look at that. Or the log page. So 15th of the 10th. Gap, no. Comments, no. Date sent. 22, right, me. So then Kathy looks through this, you can see what's being updated and what to go and look for to update. 